Now, in between episodes, we've done a little bit of off-camera work, and uh, I, I think we're ready to go now. Oh, and I unlocked all the advancements. That's the end of the series. Glad you guys enjoyed watching. And well, to be honest, I, I really did do a little bit of grind between episodes, but I did record it somewhat. Oh, you weren't meant to see that clip. So only naturally. I wanted to make use of that Fortune 3 pick that we had gotten from Episode 3. And I was wanting to get diamonds strictly, but ended up getting a bunch of other resources as well. We should have enough for diamonds for a full diamond gear set now, and we can start doing more riskier things. Like today, we're going to go into the nether, do a little bit of exploring around. I'm not looking forward to it, but it's got to be done, and it might be kind of fun. Who knows? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 4 of my hardcore survival series. Ah, we're back to panic mode. It's not like blockheads. You gotta be wary around every corner on this world. I'm a little nervous of what's gonna happen today because I plan to go to the nether. And I should have all my armor. I actually got quite a bit of diamonds from that mining session. Uh, I thought I was gonna do a time lapse, but it ended up being like a little tiny montage of the diamonds, so... Uh, I think he ended up getting like 35 from the mines, and then I had a few lingering about somewhere. So that's nice. We'll, we'll have a nice good set. We don't have to worry about the diamonds for a bit. And man, I put this Fortune 3 pick through the trials. Wow. It, it's it's already about there. <laughs> the poor things. I didn't breaking 3. No. We need to get him breaking 3 on that. So we're going to be doing some enchanting real quick. Let's see. Well, I've got pants. I just got to get a helmet. And I haven't seen what it offers. For pants, well, what are we going to get? Fire protection, maybe? Oh, fire protection four. I think I've seen that uh, when we first got the enchant table. I was waiting for that one because that's going to be super useful for the nether. And I've already got protection three and protection four on those. Uh, now, I don't know if I want blast protection. I think I do. Yeah, I think I do want blast protection, but we'll see what it gives us. I don't think you've even tried a helmet yet, so... Let's pop that puppy in there if I can craft a helmet. There we go. And lapis, helmet, unbreaking three. Now that's promising, but oh, I gotta spend three levels to see what's oh, okay, alright. Lots of fire protection. Lots of it. So I think what I'm gonna do is gonna keep this armor set for now. Uh, I think that'll do for the nether. Uh, we'll craft up some gapples and I'm also going to take another shield. Uh, that's going to be really important if I don't have like an extra protection on my armor. But at least we won't die from lava, right? So last episode, we ended off with day 66. We're currently on day 73. So not a lot of days progression, but I, I think we'll uh, we'll get through this. I, I'm, I'm really hoping so. I think I got all the stuff I need. I got Gapple, or I got five of them. And I've also got some good old hearty steak on me. I've got an extra enchant. I'm breaking three on my sword with sharpness three. No bows, unfortunately, though. No fine and neat tunnels today. We're just going to be doing some exploring. And I'll probably end up in toggle perspective for a majority of it just looking around. So wish me luck, guys. Uh, I'm definitely not good at surviving in survival. So it appears we have our first... Victim in Nether. Oh, he's got piercing too. I'm not even gonna mess with him. All right, don't wanna, don't wanna get launched off. All right, you're good. We're good. We're solid. I mean, this is the worst biome it could have spawned me in. I mean, seriously, all these ravines. Ah, oh, it's terrible. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. These guys are powerhouses, man. <laughs> That's okay. We'll just exchange blows like that. You know, what I could have done was make some gold armor, but I don't know if I'm so worried about these guys. They aren't that strong when I've got all this gear, I don't think. I mean, I could take them out in a couple of swings anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Another really big thing to look for in the nether is Enderman. I, I need some ender pearls. I've gotten one from an Enderman that was like right in front of my home, but I, I don't think I have any other ender pearls. We've got to start saving for that dragon fight. You see where that glowstone is? Right in front of it is about where I came in from my nether portal, and there is another fortress right here. This is what we're going to be adventuring to. Oh boy. Okay, on second thought, my diamond pick's about to break, so it's probably not advisable to be digging through the nether rack if I can avoid it. So I'm going to do something really risky uh, you shouldn't do in your hardcore world. 
I want to do some bridging right here. As long as that gas doesn't blow me up, I think we'll be fine. This is the riskiest thing. <laughs> Don't do this. Oh, man, that's a messy bridge, too. Okay, there we go. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. No. <laughs> I thought things were going to be a lot simpler, but there's just like a big drop off there and I don't know how to get to it. Maybe okay, it looks like this is all connecting, so that's good. You got to love that fire protection. Okay. All right. We can do it that way. <laughs> the most dangerous route. Okay. That works. All right. So my main objective is to get some blaze rods. I definitely want to get uh, 10 of them if I can. So we didn't get any from that one. Terrible fortress. You gotta love that advancement. That's another one to add to the list. So there's a bunch of blazes down that corridor. Not really anything to worry about so far. There we are, into fire. Ah, we got our first blaze rod. I didn't know piglins came into the fortresses. That's interesting. So, oh, we got a whole blaze spawner here. Nice. I feel like the fire protection was a super awesome investment because these guys aren't doing anything to me. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot harder than this. Uh, but we are going to keep our eyes out on the wither skeletons because that's where our major demise is going to be. If they, like, three of them come in without me knowing, man, I am, I'm in for it. Oh, wow. Something happened over there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just seen a piglin fall to his death. Uh, we are definitely going to come back in here before the dragon fight, so I'm just getting 10 as the basis, but we're going to need some extra eyes of Ender to find the portal. So where I'm not using any external things, I just noticed that I'm using Optifine. That's a mod, but uh, I mean, do we count that? I mean, come on. Do you count that? So we're going to use uh, eyes of Ender to find the portal uh, once we get around to it. I think we got a gas on us. That's where I'm a little worried. Just a little bit. I mean, he's, he can hit me from over there. How many blaze rods do we have now? We got four. And there's wither skeletons. Ah, eh, might as well take on the wither skeletons. I'm, I'm going to gap up for this because wither is going to do a little bit of damage to the old waffle. Gas, though, in combination with the wither skeletons. I don't know how about that. Oh, geez. Yeah, don't kill me. There we go. Yeah, take it. Take it, Wither Skeleton. Come on, buddy. Ah, not even a hit on the old waffle. Wait. Yeah, I did. What happened there? <laughs> did I get hit? Is there an invisible one or something I don't know about? So somehow I never caught this, but you can get withered with your shield up. I guess I've just never taken a shield into the nether with me on normal survival. So learn something new today. Yay. I'm so confused. That was weird. Oh, this is such a better blaze spawner. We don't have to like worry about them escaping. That's a million times better. All right, one more batch of blazes. We'll see how many blaze rods we have afterwards. Yeah, let's just take you out. Not worry about the flame damage. It's really safe up here too. Oh, I, there would be a gap there. Do you drop anything? No. But we have 13. I think that's uh, good enough for now. Because I think you produce two every time you use one. Yeah, so it's two blaze powder. And now I've just got to backtrace my way back. So let's see. Is that gas out here? No. I don't think there's anything else in the nether I need at this point, really. I mean, that and... Oh, let me do some thinking. I mean, I know wither sk uh, skulls, but I'm not worried about that right now. <laughs> We're going to face the ender dragon first. Oh no, I think I'm lost. Never mind, I take that back. I am totally good. I know exactly where I am. I just gotta get back to my portal. All right, Blaze, don't hit me off. All right, are you, are you gonna are you gonna hit me? Come on, make it quick, make it quick. There we go. Oh no, there's a gas. Don't see me. Don't see me. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Woo, get nervous, get nervous. Okay, all right. As long as I can make it up here and I don't do, take any fall damage and blast damage. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I just want to get back to my portal. <laughs> oh no, I see a big boy up there. Oh, oh. Does he see? Oh, he sees me like before I even come up. That's not fair. I guess it's not fair that I could toggle perspective too. <laughs> Maybe that's what he was doing. And there's my portal. Safety is in sight. Let's just... Uh, Get there, because I'm not safe until I get through the portal. Uh, that's that's the rules, because you can go through here 
and there'd be like several zombie piglins or something. Or not zombie piglins, but piglins. Hey, I think our first nether run was pretty awesome. I mean, I, I'm a little bit of a wuss when it comes to the nether, but we kind of, we played that through and I got uh, 13 blaze rods. Proud of myself. But I'm going to be honest, I'm not so proud of thinking that the wither skeletons had disappeared on me. I mean, uh, I had 1.14 flashbacks. I was so traumatized <laughs> by that withering. But uh, yeah, disappearing entities and such. Anyways, now we can kind of shift our direction to a different little tiny project. Uh, we'll take, a, yeah, maybe a couple of stacks of that cobblestone and we need an extra bed if we can find one. Or resort to being a lazy waffle like I am and try to find sheep on the way. I'm going to a certain area that I hadn't shown you yet, but I had discovered between episode one and two, the naturally generating portals. I think it makes a big difference in getting like magma blocks and you can also get the gold. It's just a nice little reward from just traveling around. But we're not going to the swamp today. We're actually going a little bit further. It's not too bad. It's out this way. You might be seeing it render in. Oh, we got a desert. It's relatively close to spawn, too. Like, I didn't even have to really do much running to get over here. Oh, yeah, and there's a village over here, too. A little bit further away than the first village that we had discovered. And I think I hit a villager here, so I gotta be really careful around the iron golems. I don't know if they maintain aggro. But I'm looking for a nice flat zone so that we can build a little enderman grinder and start collecting up some pearls. If we wait till nighttime, they should spawn out here in the desert. I mean, it'll be... Pretty dangerous, but we'll get around it. A nice flat, wide open. We should be able to see all in the Intermen. And there's another village. I have three villages really close to spawn. Uh, I've really got to get a little tiny trading set up. A cactus growing on top of... That's illegal. You had an illegal cactus in here. The sun's falling. Ah, The suspense, the suspense. So... Interman grinder could be like three blocks high. We'll do three out just to be safe about things. And I'm all ready to fight. I'm just uh, waiting for those Interman spawns. I'm watching theater over here. I don't even care about the Interman anymore. This is great. <laughs> is the villager going to get away? Who knows? The Iron Golem might catch up with them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he definitely caught up. Uh, that's it. The villager isn't very smart, though. He's just running into the darkness. So there's an Interman, but he's really far away. So let's see if I can get a little bit closer. Just a little bit and make it back to the trap. Oh, oh, you, you, you're not aggroed yet? That's odd. Aha, got him, I got him. He's on me now. <laughs> oh no, he's right behind me too. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Oh, fun. Uh, no interpearl for the waffles, but a bunch of mobs to contend with. Husk with an iron sword. That's a warrior right there. And a creeper, too. You come to play as well? You gonna pull up my enderman trap? Ugh. Man. How dare you, man. He just comes in here, attacks me. He's gonna take care of that skeleton for me. He's on my side, really. So I got one interpearl on the ground there. Come on, come on. There we go. Got two ender pearls. Let's take care of the skeleton. Lucky or not? Nah? Oh, lucky. So we did get a third ender pearl. We got one back at the house, so we have four in total. The sun's just about to come up, and I see three endermen ripe for the picking. So we got one, two. I know there's a third one over there somewhere. Oh, okay. Whoo, man. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't get any closer. Okay, this could be very deadly. Okay. All right. All right. We got to run for it. We got to run. We got to get to the water. Oh, gosh. That that about went sour. Blew up my enderman trap. I didn't even think about them getting down there, so. All right. Just got to do this old-fashioned way, I guess. And... I, I don't know. No, no, we didn't get an enderpro, I don't think, because we have five in total. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop there with the intermittent grinding. I mean, we got five total in the world. I don't know if I got that last one or not. I don't. I can't remember my count. Uh, I'll <laughs> figure it out eventually. Um, 
we're gonna have to make some improvements to that trap because creepers sneaking up on us that's that's unacceptable <laughs> i just about died then because i wasn't thinking straight okie doke so we made it back home let's see how many inner pearls we've actually got now i think i put them all in here yeah, so it is five. Uh, I was kind of hoping I didn't account for one or something, but we'll revisit the grinder and we'll get more. This is how lazy I am. I, I just let my crops grow. I, I don't even replant them or anything. <laughs> I need to go over there and do some management. And recording blaze grinding episodes along with interpol grinding isn't really my idea of an episode usually, but I had a lot of fun today. Uh, it was a good time, you know? Uh, I was wanting to show everything I do in hardcore uh, that's the thing about this world. I try not to do much AFK because I want the day count to be accurate and want to try to record as much of the process as I can. Now, I did do some adjustments to our zombie farm and yeah, less entity cramming, a lot more can fit in there. And man, they got some nice shiny gold ready for me to collect. I was actually going to look at the collection chest, see what they did drop in there. Oh, let's get this last one. Yeah, yeah, you know, gold. We got almost like a close to a full set of gold. <laughs> that's awesome. But I think that's going to be about it for today's episode, guys. Hope you did enjoy watching. We'll see you next episode. Have a fantastic day.